leo jina langu ni Abela Bateunga na hii ni nasi. Nasi ni jukwaa la majadiliano na kuja kwako kila wiki pamoja mimi na wewe tunajadili mbinu mbali mbali za ushindi lakini pia tunaangalia changamoto zinazopata kila siku. My intention is simple, moving you from being a life victim into a life victor. Tofahamu mimi ni hiki kwamba mwanadamu yeye ni roho inayoishi kwenye mwili mwili ambao ni makazi ya akili isia nia ambayo ndio nafsi swali ni je unaendesha vipi nafsi yako kila siku Upendo huvumilia upendo hufadhili upendo hauna wivu wala majivuno upendo hauna kiburi haukosi kuwa na adabu upendo hautafuti kujipendeza nafsi haukasiriki pesi hauweki orodha ya mabaya upendo haufurahi mabaya bali ufurahia ukweli upendo hugumilia yote huamini yote hutumainia yote na hustahimili yote upendo hauna mwisho hamna shairi au wimbo ambao umeweza kutafsiri maana ya upendo kama Paul katika barua yake kwa watu wakati huo walikuwa wanaitwa Corinth nadhani swa so, langu kwako wewe ni je ni jinsi gani unatafsiri upendo upendo unamaanisha nini kwako hii the topic yetu leo jinsi gani ya kupenda kupendwa na kubaki kwenye mapenzi how to love to be loved and stay in love Now, I don't know any better person ambaye anaweza kutuanzia siku nzima ya leo kuongelea masuala ya love than Dr. Love himself. Chui chui babo gum. Liro Sanyi, brother, take it through. Seconds of 
song every day and every chorus was waiting for us to recite every beautiful melody of devotion every night this potion might this ocean might carry me in a wave of emotion and ask you to marry me in every word every second and every third expresses a happiness more clearly than ever heard and when i play them every chord is a poem telling the lord how grateful i am because i know i'm a sensation similar to your caress a harmony that is possessed if you're asking then i'm telling you it's yes stand in love take my hand and let job bless i i i want to give you some good good love oh i Turn your light down low. Listen, if you want to get in touch with us, come on, I'm going to see you. I'm going to see you. I'm going to see you. AbelaBateyunga.com. AbelaBateyunga.com. Here, I'm going to see you on social media Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I'm going to see you. AbelaBateyunga. But I'm going to see you. I'm going to see you. I'm going to follow him. Follow him at Leroy Sunny. Leroy Sunny. Yeah, when you Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, we are lighting it up in here. It's about love. We'll be right back. Second-hand emotion, is it? Kwanza kusema kama mapenzi ni kama mtumba au kuna wale ambao wameumizwa. Kesi ambacho hataki kusia kwenye mapenzi. Kwa sababu leo nafahamu kama kuna wale ambao eh na hii hali ya hewa basi ni 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 shughuli si ndio wanasema shughuli ni pevo. There some people that are so in love today lakini kuna wale ambao wameumizwa kweli kweli hataki kusikia hata jina la mpenzi wao. Mapenzi ni nini? Jinsi gani tunaweza kupenda? Ni jinsi gani tunaweza kubaki kwenye mapenzi? How to love? Be love and stay in love. Ndio mada yetu ya leo. Ndani ya studio leo. Niko na David. Tunamuita ama codes. <coughs> David leo kanletea surprise. Sawa sawa. <laughs> Tuna msingo? Yeye ni rafiki yake David. Nitaelezea baadaye vizuri. <laughs> Lakini pia tuna Conrad. Conrad yeye ni mjasiri ya mali. Karibuni sana studio. Shukran. So simply put me and Riro ya happy to have you guys here. Yes, thank you very much. Um mada kwenye meza ni jinsi ya kupenda, kupendwa na jinsi ya kubaki kwenye mapenzi. Tunaongelea mapenzi ya mtu na mme wake, mtu na mchumba wake, mtu na mpenzi wake. Na mapenzi ambayo tunaongelea ah kwa ni tofauti mimi ni mwanaume na mwanamke lakini siku zimapo inabadilika, si ndio? Tubaki kwenye hayo mwanaume na mwanamke. Sawa sawa. Nina kama sijaanza na maswali mafupi tu nataka niwaulize mniambie kama vitu hivi vikitokezea unadhani mpenzi wako anakupenda au akupendi na kwa sababu gani Tuko tayari yep. So all that you say is ananipenda anipendi Yeah mm-hmm. Sawa Nikiamka <laughs> <laughs> asubuhi kabla hajapiga mswaki anataka kukubusu Msingo ana <laughs> Quick, quick. Yeah, I'm not paying. Correct. I'm not paying. Now, you're from where? She's a girl. Doesn't matter. I love when I get a little chuffed. Watch ya. Why? And I will put it later. I'm not going to put it on the shelf. Ah, you mean I'm not paying? I'm not paying. 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 Na munga mkono, ananipenda lakini kuna bati. Kisha ananipenda. Hakuna bati. Hey David, you are so in love. Yeah. By the way, in case you do not know, David is my little brother. Na today I'm going to surprise the studio. I'm going to be single. Apparently, I'm going to have an introduction to the camera. Eh? Eh? No. I'm going to be in the chumba. I'm going to have a card. I'm going to have a card. 
getting hot in here. How is she that I'm both you and I? I'm a friend. She's free with you. I could see fear at all by any. I'm a person who's fear at all. That's my weapon. You have to appreciate what you have to do. I have to appreciate I I have Oh really? Mm -hmm. Apparently, Zawadi, <laughs> he never buys you gift. Ah, na Because we are going to be It's not her thing. I you pick. She, she just doesn't want to cook. At the school, yeah. yeah. It's, cooking is not her thing. I watch my name. Yeah? Yeah. You need to think carefully. Yeah. Yes, your girlfriend stops mm. cooking. She yeah. doesn't cook. Yeah. Guys, I'm not going to be able to simple. I'm not going to be able to She doesn't cook. Why, 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 when it's food, the guys are quiet? No, you need to, you need to think carefully. <laughs> the girls are watching. I put a copy and pen because I'm going. If you come on, I'm telling you, I'm going to be a little bit of 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 Come on, I'm a queer. 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 Hey, I'm not going to eat. I'm not going to eat. She doesn't cook. She doesn't cook. Ah, that's disrespect. That's disrespect. Go back to your parents. Yeah, sure. Go back. Yeah. To ask you about that, eh? To tell you about what you're doing, 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 Kamera aku anza, sabu ni nasi kasih malu tu buku tanah. Sini je, situ buku tanah hostel semua buat macam sah. Ah, macam tu macam mana? Macam apa yang kau tengok? Ah, macam apa nak profesor itu mana itu ambil ni kamu orang dok kacau je pada. Ah, sih. Aha. Kau tu, kau tu sikit tu jangan kuat kuat tu kamera aku anza. Ah, mimi kau tu sikit anza dewa itu buku anak si macam apa? Sah, ilu buku le aku pun ada, dewa itu buku aku anza mimi pun pokai mami tu lim pokai hostel. The wife will copy book and ask them to copy their story. I mean, no more so glad of him, Tarati. What do you mean? Now, I can't believe I could have packed on a journal with all my traffic. Most of them are just mad. I can't believe that I can't believe you could have so many telling me shown. Like in the corner, yeah, oh, not one a kitten of John of one at the fault. They would tell you what when Gil Marafkizan, no more, you're in dad. So, ah, I say, you could go on in the side. The Paka Marafkizan could only give a copy on that. Who's the attendant? Kama hiko good mwana, nashinda ana. Kwa kini? Ukashinda. Hei, nikashinda. Msingo, unolisi nini kwa David kwa mara kwanza? He's kind. Mwuchesh. So, umu, unolisi upole wake, wepi umenolisi utuwe mawake. Kwa you guys don't... Okay. Inamana ukubangalo kwa simamu, she's cute. Inamana ukupenda mwanegano wake. Au, madaya kundangani. Ajikisa wakwe mwanegano wake. 
sana au kumata sana ndio hicho kwa sababu yani tabia yake kwanza hiyo kuvutia eh kwanza hiyo tabia yake hiyo mvutia the way tu anapo tena maana kwa mara ya kwanza hii kitu wazi ni mashaka kumpa kumjua taratibu kwa sababu kusema ukweli mimi siwezi kusema uongo kwamba hata mimi mara ya kwanza nilivyomuona ni tofauti kuona mzuri kama ninavyomuona sasa hivi for sure Like the first time I saw her, she wasn't as beautiful as I see her now. Hey, any bad eye will come and look at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, what for this? I want to consider some of the points of the cool Missouri Paris to me and cut it. But it's correct. Like in one of the standard, the one that you want to present, the one that you want to show to, ah, what do you want to say? So it matters. ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
Hello. Come to the wedding. <laughs> so, what are you going to do? You are going to do a fresh glass. You are going to do a fresh glass. What are you going to do? Kama kwa sisi, kuna kitu ambao tunasimaga siku zote nasimaga iti kama unampenda mtu, lazima umpe ile time. Saa, iti muda mungi wenaye. Sisa ndiyo, unampa ule time. Do you give maybe her a quality time? Hey. There is difference between time and quality time. Saa. Any day with us change. I'm telling you. Dr. Phil. I'm telling you. Kuna muna kumpatia na mtu na kuna quality time. 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 Muda mwingi unajua anapenda mziki na kaza zangu nagonga beat nagonga beat anakuja mwezi wangu anaambia ah sawa muda wote sasa mimi nimekaa muda wote tu hapo naendelea kugonga tu beat yako <laughs> na siku nakuwa na mtu yeye amekuja amenifuata ni sawa kwa hiyo kwa hiyo sawa sawa sometimes sawa sawa, sawa, sawa. msingo <laughs> muda muda ni kila kitu okay danganyi kwa hiyo ni zawadi sijui service na vitu vingine vinakuja baadaye lakini kwanza quality time yes this guy is eh? they share things together. How do we keep love fresh? Tunafanyaje mapenzi yazidi kukua? Tunaaburisha vipi kila siku? Kwanza lazima muwe free mm -hmm. to each other. Uhuru? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alafu pili muwe mnaweza kukosoana. Mhm. Mm Tatu lazima muweze kufundishana. Sawa. So, muwe free, muweze kukosoana na muweze kufundishana. Lee Roy. Yes. The word of the day my brother. So the word of today, okay, yes, first of all, the internet is full of all these amazing words that describe our day-to-day -day lives, but I'm just here to up your vocabulary with the sweet, the fun words. So the word of today is asismus. Say that now, again. Asismus. Okay. Now, asismus um, refers to a situation where, you know, um, you pretend or you act like you don't feel anything for somebody when you really are dying inside. You know? Be because... <laughs> For me, I, I understand that, you know, women should not make it too easy because men like a little bit of a chase, you understand? But don't, don't, don't make a wall nobody can jump over, you know? Don't make it, you know, <laughs> don't make it a mission impossible just because you want to prove a point. But what um, uh, my perspective is on love nowadays is that um, I realize that the game of love has really changed. It's, now it's just calculated moves. Should love be a game though? It's like a game of chess. You have to push this and push this. and Why? To get I don't know. <laughs> love has changed so much. And if you watch all of the Hollywood movies nowadays, it's so reinforced that it's about calculating what the other person is going to do when people tell you, no, you don't respond to this text until three hours, 24 minutes, <sighs> and two seconds after. You know, if you respond too soon, you are, you are desperate. If you respond after, you're not interested. It has become so calculated. I mean, what happened to those back in the days, you Thank know, the you. song, where, yes. you know, it all used to be about, you know, what I can do for you and give you the world and make you feel, you know, nowadays it's all about what I can get from it. You know, and the love is sad. Has really changed. It's really sad. So, Neno La Leoni. I can't pronounce that. But I'm going to say that 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 do not play hard to get that much. I don't know. This is what Liro is saying, guys. Thank you so much for being with us in the studio. Best of luck to you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, go. Go find it. Go find it. Go find it. <laughs> you never know. Maybe this show will be good. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm looking to say something out there to the girl that you know you're hoping to get from this show. As you're watching him, you know, yeah. just hit him yeah. up. Just give me your phone number. Let me paste it on the screen. Uh, <laughs> yeah. no, 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 no. Seriously searching this book. <laughs> 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 wengi sana tunaumia kila siku msalamazima mapenzi lakini nani ambaye ameacha mpaka leo 
kuna hali fulani hata katika maumivu bado unataka kutumaini kwamba kuna mmoja siku moja atapatikana atanipenda sawa tunachongelea leo ndio mada mezani jinsi ya kupenda kupendwa na jinsi ya kubaki kwenye mapenzi as opposed kuumizwa leo ndani ya studio nipo na kaka yangu rafiki yangu wa karibu lakini pia ni mtu ambaye nimekuwa nikimtazama sana kwenye masuala mazima ya mapenzi na mahusiano anaitwa Freddy Kiara yeye right ni moderator speaker lakini pia ni counselor au tunasema yeye ni mhamasishaji lakini pia ni mshauri wa masuala mbali mbali karibu studio asante sana kwa leo naweza nikamwita Fred kama Dr. Love alinifunza mambo mengi sana umenifunza mambo mengi sana kwenye masuala ya mapenzi okay. na some of the principles ambazo nimekuwa nikishikiria muda mrefu kwenye maisha yes. i think you're the first person who ni introduce kwenye aina nne za mapenzi yes. yeah mapenzi ambayo ni erotic mm -hmm ambao ni, ni, ni agape mm -hmm. and um, eros. eros and filio yeah tutaongelea mm -hmm. baadaye okay. I, i was like oh, okay ni kwani mapenzi ni mapenzi tu lakini kumbe yamegawanyika mm -hmm. leo tunaanga tunaongelea mapenzi ya uh, how do you say that erotic love unasemaje kwa Kiswahili mapenzi ya ya hisia za jinsi ya tofauti hisia za jinsi ya tofauti sawa sawa mimi swali langu la kwanza kabisa ningependa kuuliza je mapenzi ni hisia au maamuzi is love a decision or a feeling Hmm, hilo ni swali ambalo kwa kweli kila mahali linaulizwa na kila mara nyingi lina safi sote tunapoanza kuzungumzia juu ya upendo au mapenzi. Mm. Lakini ukweli ni kwamba upendo au love has very little to do with feelings or hisia. Kweli? Upendo ni uchaguzi na commitment au kujitoa. Kinachokuwa tatizo ni kwamba mara nyingi uh, upendo unaambatana na hisia kwa hiyo watu wanadhania kwamba basi hizo hisia ndio upendo wenyewe lakini the true love is not feelings it is a choice and commitment ingawa sasa mara nyingi true love huwa inaambatana na hisia but we don't base hatu hatustegemei hisia kwa sababu mara nyingi hisia zinabadilika Inajua. leo leo naweza nikajisikia kwamba do nasikia upendo kwa abela mm. lakini kesho nikaamka nikamwona msana mwingine nikaa nasikia tena hisia na maana na maana na maana nitapenda kila mtu kwa hiyo so tunaamua kupenda yes, lakini inabidi kila siku tuamue kubaki kwenye mapenzi that's why ndio maana inaitwa is choice and commitment kwamba nimechagua na bakia hapo hapo regardless sawa sawa na swali ambalo ningependa ku kuwawakilisha wadada wote Tanzania lakini pia Afrika mhm mm kwa nini ni rahisi kwa mwanamume kumtongoza mwanamke lakini mwanamke anapomtongoza mwanamke mwanaume inaonekana kama you, you coming too strong Can't I just the season kama mwanamume nikampenda nikamwambia kwamba nimempenda The challenge ni uh, unajua ni culture na kuna miiko au tabu za Kiafrika Tukitoka kule nyuma wa wazazi wetu wanawake walikuwa wanasubiri nyumbani wanakujwa kuposwa kwa kutoka kwa wazazi wao hakuna mwanamke alikuwa anaruhusiwa kwenda kukaa mwenyewe kupangisha chumba chake ulikuwa unabaki kwa wazazi wako unafuatwa kuposwa kwa wazazi wako bali sio sasa si muda mbadilika time Ndo has mbadilika, changed lakini sasa time changes lakini kubadilisha ile ile mindset. thinking mindset inachukua muda huko tunapokwenda pengine watoto wetu au watoto watoto wetu hiyo itabadilika lakini leo msichana akianzisha uhusiano akimwambia mvulana kwamba na kupenda yeah. mara nyingi huwa mvulana anarudi wakiwa Afrika anarudi nyuma kidogo. Kuna dhani ni, ni, ni sawa? Si sawa. Si sawa kwa kwamba si sawa msana kumwambia mwanaume au si sawa mwanaume kumchanga. Huo mtazamo sio sawa. Kwamba kwa hiyo ni, ni kuwe kuna uhuru. Huo kuna uhuru. Kwa mwanamke kama Ingawa sasa wanaume. kwa sababu ya tatizo huwezi kumjua kwa sababu kuna wanaume tofauti. Kuna wengine bado wana mshiko ya tabu za Kiafrika. Kwa hiyo tuna ushauri wasichana kama hmm. kama una hisia juu ya mvulana. Kuna kuna mvulana ambao unampenda sana na ujui namna gani jaribu kutengeneza mazingira bila kumwambia Fred unaweza kutengeneza mazingira miaka miwili <laughs> Afu kuna <laughs> I, I, I've, I've seen it before where you, you like somebody I've seen it maybe I've experienced it where you like <laughs> where you like tell the story sister tell the story <laughs> just open up no yes, please no, please it does I with you this one is going on here <laughs> When you like somebody and then they know that you like them but they, they are not taking any action but they enjoy their attention they let you linger around for a while and you can linger for even two years then hapo hakuna upendo That's not love Hapo kwa sababu if if um, that's the mystery of love 
love is give and take if you if you kama uko kwenye uhusiano ambao wewe una una unatoa tu upokee inabidi uondoke love is never one side is give and take hatuingii kwenye uhusiano ili tupate mm. sababu hiyo ni wrong mm. lakini pamoja na kwamba tunaingia ili to give but you must expect something back so, kwa hiyo ukiona kama umetengeneza mazingira <laughs> umeanzisha uhusiano na una, 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 una mazingira alafu mtu ana, hakupi attention how i want you to restore back move on ah okay by the way some girls are naturally just flirty flirty you know you cannot bag on the fact that she likes you because she's you know you, you can go there and then you receive a slap at the end of the day so we, we are very careful you know you cannot just read those signs and say okay we are enjoying the attention no maybe. but what if she comes and tell you i think that's a different thing personally i welcome I welcome. <laughs> but by the way, but, but, <laughs> I need please tell me. Uh, Hello at me, you know, I'm on Instagram. Check. Yo. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> but you see, the, the challenge is as you're saying, yeah. sometimes huyo mtu pengine hiyo message unataka ku deliver haijafika. Kwa mfano, if you learn animals, eh? Animals have different way of attracting females. Jinsi ambavyo kuku ana attract female, tofauti na jinsi ambavyo baboon ana attract female. <laughs> Kwa hiyo babu na kimuona kuku akajaribu kufanya zile style zake kwa mababu wa kike. Yule kuku atakuwa anamwangalia tu kama mbona I don't get anything. Kwa hiyo you need to learn kwamba hii message na natumia huyu mwanamume anaielewa au anaifananisha tu kwamba it's yeah, like everybody about else. Sex. Mm. <coughs> you need water. Am I? Am I? Go That's ahead. another taboo. For That's another. We, we don't talk about it. We don't touch it. We don't, it we it don't only touch happens, it. but we don't talk about I, I it. Kwa sababu watu wengi wanaingia kwenye mapenzi definitely wanategemea eventually kufanya hilo tendo lakini watu wataki kuongelea kiwazi kabisa. Right. Sisi mimi ndio kuuliza. Mm. Uh, kuna mtu anaweza kana romantic love bila expectation za mapenzi kwa muda mrefu. Na uzo nimekusudi kwa sababu nafahamu watu wengi marafiki ambao ni marafiki zangu. Mm. Hata mimi pia siamini kwenye kufanya tendo la ndoa kabla ya ndoa. Mm. Yeah, though I know eventually itatokezea. Mm. Normally mtu atendo la ndoa, you know. Mm. But nowadays media na nini imefanya kwamba sex ni kama vile hi, nice to meet you. Mm. You know, let's na, do it. Mm. Na pia watu wengi ambao ni kwa mfano mabikira, squeeze. Madada mabikira au hata wakaka mabikira mm. wanachekwa wakisema kwamba mimi I'm, I'm, I'm saving myself kwa ajili ya ndoa. Ni nini hapa ni? Na hata kuna hizi myth ambao wanasema kwamba uwezo kuchukua gari ambao hujaijaribu. Kwa hiyo unakuta kuna it's, it's a very stupid myth. <laughs> Na ukweli ni kwamba hata ile neno yenyewe ambayo tunazungumzia sasa hivi, ukisema mapenzi limetumiwa vibaya. Mtu anafikiria kufanya tendo la ndoa. Mm. Uh, ukisema jamani nataka tuzungumzie juu ya mapenzi. Mtu mmoja kwa mmoja anaweza kutaka kuzungumzia kufanya tendo la ndoa. Lakini ukweli ni kwamba tendo la ndoa lina sehemu ndogo sana kwenye uhusiano. Tendo la ndoa. Sasa ukiwa na uhusiano ambao sehemu kubwa ni tendo la ndoa pengine huna uhusiano. Yeye mnafanya mm. tutendo la ndoa. So in, in, in Kwa hiyo ukweli ni kwamba mm. upendo up, mtu mwenye upendo si lazima kuwepo na tendo la ndoa ndio kuwa na upendo. Mm. You can have romantic relationship bila kuwa na tendo la ndoa. Na ndio maana kuna watu ambao wanachagua kuwa na uhusiano mpaka baada ya kufunga ndoa ndio wafanye tendo, tendo la ndoa. Na wapo wengi na wanafanikiwa. Kwa na, na bado kipindi hicho ambacho wanahusiana wanakuwa na hiyo romantic relationship mm. kwa sababu kukaa pamoja kwenda beach ku, kuangalia movie pamoja haina mm. haina maana kushikana mkono haina lazima lazima mtumbukie mpaka mfanye tendo la ndoa ni, ni kichwani tu ambacho mtu unakuwa nayo kwamba lazima nikishikwa mkono au nikimbusu ni, ni, ni lazima Tuwe lazima tumalizie kabisa mpaka na tendo la ndoa kwa hiyo ni, ni mindset ambayo ambayo lazima tujue kwamba kufanya tendo la ndoa haina maana unampenda mtu Mm. Na kuna watu wengine wanafikiria kwamba pengine nikiutoa mwili wangu kwa sex nitamuonyesha mtu nampenda. Ndio maana kuna wasichana wengi wanaumizwa mioyo. Yeah. Kwa sababu anadhania njia pekee ya kumuonyesha mwanamume nampenda ni kumpa mwili wangu. So sex Kwayo, does not equate uh, love. No. Sex does not mean love. What, why you why you slanting like that? Mm? Why you slanting like that? No. No. Sex does not it, no. No, it doesn't at, at all. Oh, I thought you were the sex. You're so silly. He, what he's saying is sex equal to like very small percentage of the entire romantic thing you can actually have a relationship without sex 
Yeah, you, you cannot. You, I, what, I, I why agree. are you saying here yeah, that well, your, your head is all over? He's a bit hesitant. Hey, you see this couple? The, the couple that was here, Abella, the yeah. couple that was here, yeah. they, they talked about quality time. Yeah. There are people who think when they said about quality time, that yeah. means being yeah, bad. Quality time, see, you come back. I'm not going to talk about the other people. Quality time is means to cooperate more, to cooperate, to interact in a way that we can come to an affinity with each other. At what time do you think I'm in love? Ani mtu asimaje sasa nimedungukia jamani niko kwenye mapenzi. Naanza aje mnafikia wapi na watu wote mnasema kwamba sasa nimepatikana. Hapa ndio kwenyewe. Nadhani pale ambapo wote mtakuwa mnahisi mko kwenye kwenye direction moja. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu kuna watu wengine anaanza kusema kwamba mimi I'm in love na Bella. Mm. Lakini kumbe ana in love na ile image yako. Mm. Hata hata hajawahi kuongea na wewe akufahamu. Mm. Anasema ah oh, Bella, yani nikimuona see I'm in love with the Bella. That is stupidity. Kwa sababu wewe huna habari wala yeah, humjui. Yeah. Pale ambapo utaona utaweza kuwa na ujasiri kusema I'm in love ni pale ambapo wewe na huyo mwenza wako mna malengo na mmelewana mnakwenda mna mahali fulani mna a certain direction ambayo mnaelekea ambayo tunaita sasa ku produce a mature love au kumitment. So love has to be tested. Love has to be tested. Mapenzi ni lazima yafanywe ya ya ya, ya kuwe. Yeah. Love has to grow. Ukiwa na uhusiano na mtu au uh, mtu wa jinsia tofauti na mmekaa kwa one year au zaidi na hamwendi popote yenyewe mnakutana tu mnafanya mambo ya ajabu ajabu humjui shangazi yake humjui mjomba wake humjui rafiki zake ondoka hapo ndio haukui love oh. must grow you must grow to something mnaenda mali fulani lakini kama mpo mpo tu then you are wasting your time fred yeah so that means fred, fred that means if i've been admiring somebody like for three years you know i've been loving them behind the scenes i can't just come up to them and say i'm in love with you it's been for a while He has been tested even though they didn't know. What, were, what have you been waiting for all those three years? Are you not dying? <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, I'm asking. Hey. <laughs> for wow. me, the moment I saw a lady, I just <laughs> wanted to talk to her right away. Wow. I'm going to give you a chance. 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 Wabo wengine wanapigwa hata kupigwa wengine wanatukana na kijerika. At what time mtu anasema eh ndio napenda lakini haya mapenzi sio sahihi inabidi nitangulie mbele. Watu wakatushauri na, na pia at what time mtu anafahamu kwamba haya mapenzi yamefika kipindi ende kwenye ndoa sasa. Mimi nikipenda kushauri vitu kama vitatu. Cha kwanza kama uko kwenye mahusiano na mtu uh, wa jinsia tofauti na especially kama ni mdada na uko na mkaka na unaona, unaona kwamba imepita miaka mko tu pamoja hamna mipango yoyote na hata ukimuuliza ana mipango gani haonyeshi kuwa na mwelekeo wowote pengine take time out kwa sababu unaweza mnaweza mkakaa pamoja mkapotezea na muda mm. lakini la pili kama uko kwenye uhusiano ambao mmoja ni ana, ana, ni abusive mm. sasa abusive kwa Kiswahili ni, ni, ni anakunyanyasa si, anaweza kukunyanyasa kwa maneno kwa kupiga au kwa maneno yeah. mimi wanasema hivi kwamba kuna mambo ambayo anahitaji ushauri kwa wao penzi lakini sio kupigana. Mm. Kupigana kuhitaji kushauri. Toka kupigana kunahitaji kupelekana polisi. <laughs> kwa sababu leo anakupiga kibao. Kwa nini nasema hivyo? Me I'm a counselor. If somebody comes to me, alafu anaambia kwamba I'm come here kwa sababu my spouse au my my boyfriend ananipiga. Naambia don't come here. Yeah, nenda polisi. Nenda polisi. Kwa sababu leo atakupiga kibao. Mm. Kesho atakukata kichwa mm. na panga kimwacha endelee kwa sababu it, it grows kwa hiyo swala la kupigana kutumia manguvu mm. ni swala la kuhakikisha kwamba halikubaliki kwenye mahusiano na kwa dakika moja tu jinsi gani nafahamu kama niko tayari kwenda kwenye ndoa kama wote kwa pamoja mmefika mahali mnaelewana yeye anafahamu ma, uh, matakwa yako na hisia zako na malengo yako ya maisha na wewe unafahamu matakwa yake na malengo yake ya maisha hapo ndipo mnajua kwamba pengine niko tayari kwenda lakini kitu cha kuangaliza angalizo hapo ni kwamba hamwezi mkawa tayari kwenda kwenye ndoa kwa sababu tu mmeanza kufanya tendo la ndoa tendo la ndoa sio mapenzi huyu ni Fred Kiara thank you so much Freddy Joy. always a pleasure Joy. and always i learn a lot of things from you thank you tu narudi lakini ukiwa nyumbani jiulize je mapenzi leo naye anakuumiza au anakujenga na kukutengeneza ndiye mapenzi yako ambayo ni tulandoa tu au kuna mambo mengine zaidi ambayo yanakufanya ukue na kujiboresha zaidi mapenzi ya kunaemishe bwana tunarudi
seed in Afghan land. Give me love. Love is what I need to help me know my name. Oh, I don't bend. Don't break. Show me how to live and promise me you won't forsake. Cause love can help me know my name. Wow. All right, that's Sila, yeah. Love Divine. Yes. So, 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 ni kipindi cha Book of the Week. Na kitabu cha leo, kiku a bit controversial. Kuna mbo wana kipenda, kuna mbo wana hawa kipenda. Mimi sijuwe utapikilia nini. Kina itua, Act Like a Lady and Think Like a Man. Ni kitabu ambacho Steve Harvey ni muandishi mkubwa wa kima taifa, lakini pia ni mwanaabari huyu wa kima taifa. Hame wandikia wa kina dada, kusuma kumbamu kitaka kwa fahamu wa kaka, au wanaume, inabidi uwe wewe, lakini inabidi ufikiri kama wao. Kwa ni kitabu chaka, nchi sema ya ni kuamba. Kitu kikubwa mbacho kina drive wanaume, ni kuamba wanataka wawe provider, watu ambo wanataka watoe. Na kusuma kumbamu wanaume uingia kwenye mausiano kwa sababu kubwa tatu. Kwanza, au wangependa kuwa kama waonekane kama support. Kwa mbo wakinjia kwenye mausiano mpenzi wake au mwana mke wake ya mwane kama ye ni usupport kubwa ya kwanza. Lakini pia wangependa loyalty. Kwa mba udada au mke au mchumba awe ni mtu ambea mejitua kwa o kabisa. Lakini mwisho wa nsema wanaume wanafanya mambo yote haa lakini they also need a cookie. Yeah, sex. Simply put. Kwa mba mwisho wa siku mwanaume yote Anafanya yote haya, sawa support, natakuwa provider, nataka kuwanda, kini mwisho wa siku, wanaishia kwenye mambu haya. Kini anasema pia, kwa mba, wanaume wengi wakati mgini kwenye mausiano, wao, kuchit. Sio kwa pabu wanapenda kuchit, lakini kwa sababu, either, kwa nchukipata kwenye mausiano hakika tosherezi, lakini pia, we ulianae, sio yule ambewa na mtafuta, au, kuna mwana mke mungine uko nje. Me, I don't care. Lakini kama wana mausiano, just don't cheat. Usidanganye. Sasa hizo sababu uzipo, lakini sivyo ndio zilivyo. Lakini kilo mocho kila nifecha kwenye kitabu, wanasema kamba kuna wanaume uangalia wanawake wa inambili. Wanasema kuna ama wita sport fish. Kuna hali ambao wanachukua, kama umwe kuvua, au umwe kuna wavuvu wa kivua, wanakamata samaki ya kwa wana mwachia. Nekwa kama ni game, tukwa mba, kama ni mdada unajue kaji, unajibeba vipi, kusabu kuna mwanu ya naza kuna kama ni sport fish, anapu kamata na kukwachia, lakini kuna wale ambuwa nituwa keepers. Mtu ambaya na chukuliwa hafu, anamukamata na namueka moja kwa moja. Haya, kwa mwanu yangu mimi, ni Steve Harvey, na kitabu ni Act Like a Lady and Think Like a Man. Anawaonya wakina dada kwa mba kuwa careful na boys ambuwa ni wanituwa mama's boy. Wala wanaume ambao, wadaka kuoe, au wale na wewe, ufanyi vitu sawa na mama yao, anasema mm-mm. Mama ni mama, na mke ni mke, na mchumba ni mchumba. Kita mbacho kimeishia mwishoni kabisa, kitabu chote anawashauri wakinadila kwamba, jifahamu wewe ni nani, and raise your standard high. Alafu ameka, ame introduce kitu kitu wa 90 days rule. Kwamba, kwa kila mausiano, kama wangipenda wawe serious, don't give up your cookie, baka baada ya siku tisini. Iko siku tisini ni nadhani ni miezi mitatu ufahamu ye ni nani ufahamu ni yane. Lakini mimi kwa imani yangu, mimi wana minu kwa mba don't do it at all. Haka mekubaleana kuolewa. Lakini siku hizi watu mwena tofauti. Kwa hiyo uo ni ushauli tu wa Stevie Harvey kwa wadada kwa mba yes. Be a lady, look good na nini. But you know what? If you want to know these guys, you gotta think like them. Iyo ni kitabu ya wiki hii. Tunarudi. Mejifunza mengi sana suki ya leo. Nimeikuwa nisiki ya mapenzi kweli kweli. Watu wa mefunguka. Lagini mimi nigependa kufahamu kwanza kabla ya nafsi bande wa ujatutoa. Tumejifunza nini leo? What is your take at home? Baraka? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unapeleka, unanini na nyumbani leo? By the way guys, Baraka is just what we call a newly wed. Ameowa kama na mwezi sasa. Nimeikuwa kwenye mapenzi moto moto. Yeah. Ah. Nijojifunza leo ene napenda kuungana tu na wana Fred Ya it's true mapenzi ya na nani ya sex what I can say Ni same ndogo sana ya mapenzi Kwa hiyo maa nyingi sana wezu kachukwe kama ni kitu ambacho na rely Kwa mba uwe na mtu wapana Na kitu kini ambacho nadha nikasema 
mwanadamu ana asili ya kuadapt na kila siku ana, anajifunza vitu vipya. Kwa hiyo kwenye mapenzi is always your learning. Ya na huwezi kumfahamu mwenzako eh, 100%. Kwa hiyo kila siku unapokuwa naye unakuwa unajifunza na una adapt kwa jinsi anavyokuwa. Kwa hiyo ni vitu ambavyo. Yeah. So usiwe mtu ambaye unakaa kwenye mapenzi alafu unasema kama mimi ndio jinsi nilivyo. Hivi ndio jinsi ambavyo nimekuzwa. Mimi ndio nimefahamu hichi. Lazima ulax ujifunze um accommodate leave yeah, yeah. take our home um my take is um girls don't make the fence too high for us to jump eh? just put it somewhere <laughs> where we can jump comfortably you know <laughs> and also the fact that i mean i know it's cultural but you know it, it would be such a you know freeing if everybody had the opportunity to express themselves and that weight was not just given to guys no, no? Yes. yeah i agree i think i like company wanaume huko ndani ya studio wanasema kama mapenzi sio kila kitu kwa hiyo kwa dada wenzangu to see compromise standards zetu yeah tafuta kumfahamu yeye ni kitu gani ah masuala ya sex masuala ya kwamba utoe mwili wako ili upendwe listen wewe yani tamani ya maisha yako ni kubwa kuliko hivyo. Yaani kama ni mtu ambaye paka aku, aone mwili wako ndio akupende, hakuna mapenzi to start with. You understand? Mtu anaweza kumeamua tu kuji, kujishushia thamani, but if you know who you are, listen, keep it together. More than 90 days. Heck, hata kama ni 2 years, paka muwe kwamba kimeeleweka, kimeeleweka ndio kieleweke. Unajua? Kwa sababu ukishajitoa then what? You know? Not unless we may want to for fun, lakini hauangalii long 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 lasting relationship. Apo saa but mambo mengine sijui tuandikie kwenye social media zetu, Facebook, Instagram, na Twitter nafahamika kama Abela Bateyunga, lakini pia nifuatilie kwenye website yangu abelabateyunga.com, niambie unafikiri nini kuhusu masuala ya mapenzi? Ningependa tuongelee nini zaidi kwenye show ya nafsi? Ya, sisi tunaondoka namna hii, lakini kabla hujaondoka tunaondoka hadi bila chui chui babo gamu kututoa. And as we talk Leo with one of the most played song for the past one year, love it, you love it, I think you love it too. Yo, Lee, all of me. What would I do without your smart mouth? Drawing me in and you kicking me out. Got my head spinning, no kidding. I can't bring you down. What's going on in that beautiful mind? I'm on your magical mystery ride. And there's no kidding, don't know what hit me, but I be alright. My head's under water, but I'm breathing fine. You're crazy and I'm out of my mind. Cause all of me that loves all of you, all your curves and all your edges, all your perfect imperfections give your role to me i give my all to you you're my end and my beginning even when i lose and win cause i give you all How many times do I have to tell you? Even when you're crying, you're beautiful too. The world is beating you down. I'm around through every mode. You're my sunshine, you're my muse. My worst distraction, my rhythm and blues. And it's singing, it's ringing in my head. My head's under water, but I'm breathing fine. You're crazy and I'm out of my mind. Cause all of me loves all of you. All your curves and all your edges, all your perfect. 
Bateyunga. And Leroy Sani. Choo Choo Bubblegum, huh? In the building. Signing out. See you next time, babes. Mm -hmm.